This Week in Culture, we focus on art. The Gavilla Fine Art Gallery is hosting its spring exhibition with works by a number of well-known local artists, including Christian Hook, Willa Vasquez and Jane Langdon. Also on display are antiques and sculptures by Victor Quintanilla. Well, the exhibition is a very interesting one because we've got ten artists plus a, a, a sculptor from La Línea that I've exhibited before. So it's 11 artists in all. Uh, we've got some local artists and some international artists. Um, I'm very excited with some of the new work that, um, that they've brought in. Um, I'm very lucky to have some great artists that I've exhibited before. And they have amazing new work that people should come and see. The gallery also boasts an interesting collection of tribal art, something manager Dylan Cavilla is keen to explore. The tribal art I've been co collecting for some time and I acquired a, a collection from a French collector in Spain that had been collecting for 35 years and I have some wonderful pieces here. They're basically sort of mid 20th century, some are from the 1920s, some are 19th century, but the very old pieces are, are many tens of thousands of pounds and they're very hard to find. Uh, the totem pole is uh, this African totem pole from Burkina Faso is one of my favorite pieces. I think it, it looks amazing here and it will amazing in the flat and it's something that's very difficult to find again. It's very rare. Open from 10 to 6 each day, the exhibition is expected to run for around two months. Staying with art, we move from one Main Street location to another. Sacarelos is the venue for Carlota Ramos Solchaga's first exhibition on the rock, with plenty of variety on offer. The interior designer says she's inspired by beauty and nature, with colour important to her too. It's always beauty. I'm surrounded by beauty and I think where we live we have uh, just, uh, we are so lucky in that sense that anything, it could be a flower, a bird, anything, anything, a sunset, any, anything that brings you emotion and you want to share. That's it. Would you say uh, you're very much uh, drawn to nature because we're seeing a lot of landscapes, uh, the animals and absolutely, so on? Absolutely, absolutely. This is my first source. And what type of direction would you say is your art taking with regards to its development? Well, I start painting uh, basically with my mother-in-law. You know, I study, I study uh, history of art at the University of Madrid and then all my work and everything is always related to painting and art and I'm also interior designer. Uh, the, the, the way it goes is uh, through my, my experience in life, you know? getting older, getting different experience, going different worlds, uh, places or whatever, you know, so you see different things and then you become, sometimes you are more precisely, sometimes you are more expressive. This is my case. And what's next for Carlota with regards uh, to painting? Anything that you have in mind? Oh, so many things. <laughs> there is this famous writer, uh, Chilean, and it's uh, called Isabel Allende, I don't know how to translate that into English, which says, this life, it's not long uh, last enough for me, you know, esta vida no me alcanza, this is my feeling. The exhibition at Sacarelos is on for the next few weeks.